Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do another Canadian pattern. It's also very simple. It's called the Mississippi Mermaid by Rachel Crowder. Uh, it's a Wally Bugger derivative. And again, like I said in my previous video, these simple patterns are often great when we are going to be fishing in areas where we expect to lose a lot of flies. I mean, uh, especially urban fishing where you never know what's on the bottom. So it doesn't pay to put tons and tons of effort into a fly when you could lose it in the first cast. So that's why I like these particular simple patterns and they're often extremely effective. It doesn't have to be complicated to catch fish. So let's get started in looking at the materials. Our hook is this Mustad streamer size 4. It's the 9671. Our thread is Uni 6 out in olive. Our tail is golden olive, marabou. The body is golden uh, olive ice chenille. And we're using, I don't know whether you would call this pearlescent. It's pearlescent-ish with a bit of a tea color almost in it for a uh, crystal flash. So let's get started. Oh, I should mention we've got a gold cone on there as well. This is where we put in the crystal flash. It just goes on top of the tail. Let's put a couple of wraps in there. Grab it, fold it over. And we trim it the length of the uh, tail. There we go. Maybe a little longish. Okay. Now we put in our ice chenille. Now you notice how the cone has tilted. Uh, that's because I've run the thread off of it. But what you often have happen when you tie these is the cone ends up uh, not, it, it, even on the hook shank. So I'm putting a bit of CH, CA glue in there and I'm going to ram this crystal flash right into it, really pack it tight. So it's going to jam into that cone and even it up. Now I will release the pressure on it. I've really shoved that chenille in there. And bind it tight. And I'll make sure the cone is even. So when that CA glue sets up, the cone is going to stay put. Especially, I'm not so worried about up and down unevenness. This one's pointed a little bit down because of the down eye hook. That's not a problem. It's the side to side that I have to be careful of because if you have a cone that's canted off to one side, it's going to affect the way the fly swims. So that's the big deal there. So I'm just going to trim off that. Now what you can do here, this number of choices, is you can put some CA glue on the thread and wrap it around and it'll keep it in place. Or you can just put in a couple of half hitches. Or you can whip finish. Make it good and tight. I'm always concerned with flies like this of the uh, thread coming unwrapped. I've had that before because it's difficult when you're working around cones to actually get your thread nice and tight. But there we go. That's not kind of coming undone. Okay, so that's our Mississippi Mermaid. As you can see, the cone is side to side, it's straight. Up and down, it's not quite straight, but that's not a problem. 
and that will swim correctly. And actually, by the way, I've packed that uh, ice chenille on. It's given us a bit of a taper to the body, which is kind of cool, too. So anyway, there's your Mississippi mermaid. Uh, be perfect little bass fly, trout fly, you name it, it'll work. A nice simple little fly, uh, quick to tie. As I say, great when you're dealing with uh, a bottom that eats a lot of flies. And uh, you can knock these together very, very quickly. And I, you could do them different colors if you wanted to. This one is olive, uh, golden olive, but you know, dark olive, whatever you like. So give it a try, the Mississippi Mermaid. Cheers.